The Fergus Whalers looking for a perfect weekend on Sunday on home ice. The Whalers coming off a big 11-1 win over Godrich, looking to continue that momentum into today as they would host the Walkerton Capitals. The Whalers able to take the last meeting between these two in December, looking to repeat their result on Sunday. Jumping into the first period, the Whalers running into some early penalty trouble, and here on the 5-on-3, the Caps would strike. Nathan Dorn is good for his eighth of the season, and it's 1-0 Caps after one. Into the second period, now the Caps back on the power play, and they convert again. Graham Gateman plays it on net. Marcus Krasner patak slams it into the doorstep. And it's 2 0 Walkerton early in the second. Fergus looked to answer and have out Tyler Ewald. He cuts into the slot and steps into a clapper, and it's a beauty from Ewald. He gets Fergus on the board, and they were just getting started. Less than a minute later now, and it's the Whalers on the power play equalizing. Ty Anselmini goes upstairs with a bullet, and the Whalers tie the game up at 2 2. Later in the period, now the Caps with the puck in the neutral zone. JJ Levine forces a turnover and headbands it to Andrew McClure. McClure walks over the line and lets it go, and the Whalers take the lead. That's McClure's fifth of the season, and it's 3-2 Fergus. Three unanswered for the Whalers, but back on the Caps. Look out for Braden Harrow. He's out of the box, and he's on a breakaway, and it's money from Braden. And the Caps ends are back. So we're once again tied up at 3-3. The Whalers on the rush now and watch for the trailer. Tyler Ewald drops it back. Jacob Lesser pulls it across and tucks it in. It's Jacob Lesser with a go-ahead goal, and the Whalers wouldn't stop there. Less than a minute later now, and it's Ethan Meeker adding himself to the score sheet. He cuts the seam and makes it 5-3 Whalers. And only 20 seconds after that, how about another Fergus goal? Ty Anselmini slams it in out front for his second of the night, and the Whalers are up by three, heading to the final frame. Into the third now, more from the Whalers with a man advantage. It's the D-man Zach Nault sneaking down low and slamming it home. And the Whalers are up by four. The Whalers flying, and how about Mark Pizowski? It's a stick between the legs, shelf jog. What a beauty for Mark. And the Whalers make it eight on home ice. The Whalers rolling, and despite some late heroics from Noah Lundgren and a late goal from Braden Harrow, we'd end this one with some fireworks. It's a big hit in the neutral zone from Kyle Parsons, but watch the center dot. Helmets and gloves flying as the pair duke it out, and this one comes to an end. So the Fergus Whalers continuing their trek up the standings as they pick up another win. This one ending with a final score of 8-4. to four. We all feed off each other. Once Wally scored that first goal, uh, you know, you could just see it on the bench. All the boys were getting up. Uh, a lot of goals this weekend, so just good to feed off each other. That's it. Uh, I think we got a good team. You know, we got a couple people we acquired. Uh, we're just all around. We got good depth. Uh, when we score, we score big. 